Oscar Isaac has commented on Disney's response to the Don't Say Gay Bill, new Florida legislation that would prohibit discussions in schools about sexuality and gender identity for children in third grade and below, and restrict such lessons thereafter. Unsurprisingly, the notorious Finn, Poe Shipper came down strong on the side of not only saying gay, but singing it as well. Isaac has been making the press junket rounds to promote his upcoming Marvel series Moon Knight, currently scheduled to premiere on Disney March 30th. Meanwhile, several highly publicized walkouts have taken place at Disney, with hundreds of employees protesting the company's lackluster response to the bill. Disney employees are protesting the Don't Say Gay bill, Variety reporter Adam B. Very said to Isaac during a video call. I wanted to give you an opportunity to comment in that effort. Isaac immediately responded by repeatedly singing the word gay. It's an absolutely ridiculous law, it's insane, it's insanity, and I hope that Disney as a company comes out as forcefully as possible against this idea. Said Isaac, it's astounding that that even exists in this country. It's a particularly bold statement considering the famously tight control Disney often exercises over what its actors can say. Of course, these restrictions usually pertain to movie spoilers rather than denouncements of the company's response to anti-LGBTQ legislation. Disney probably didn't think it needed to put fate in the contract. While CEO Bob Chapik said Disney's leadership supports LGBTQ people earlier this month, many considered his response too little too late, as the company failed to release a statement on the matter for weeks beforehand. Critics further noted that Disney has donated to lawmakers who supported the bill, though. Chapik stated that Disney has funded politicians on both sides of the issue. We stand in solidarity with our colleagues in Florida, who will be directly harmed by this new law and yet still required to perform their duties for a company that not only failed to prevent, but also tacitly funded it, Disney employees wrote in an open letter.